Howdy folks, we are back at the gold compound. This is my dry washing vacuum, and we're going to, we cleaned out the hose, had a lot of stuff built up in it. We're gonna run the remains of that, and we have some material. Okay guys, so we, uh, like I said, we're cleaning out our equipment. This is the inside of the hose that I use for my vacuum, and I've used it in a wet area up on the claim and so what happened is a lot of material got stuck in the these ribs all the way down and I was able to get a lot of this material out now that this hose has dried and we're gonna run that and see what if anything we've got okay let's run it let's do it And this also came out of the vacuum hose. Just want to get this all processed before I start into my other material. Congratulations to all the winners in my 100 sub giveaway. I hope that you guys are enjoying the dirt and the gemstones and minerals. One of these days, we'll take a tour through my vast array of rocks. Might do a two-part video for that. There's a bunch. So years ago, we had the lapidary equipment that you needed to cut and polish and I just didn't have the time to do any of that so ended up selling the equipment now I wish I had it I still have a couple pieces of equipment but not for the fine polishing And I know that some of you guys out there like to do the tumbling of the rocks. It's really cool. They're pretty cool when they get polished. So we might fire that back up and I've got tons of rocks. And all those buckets back there behind, over here, that's just some of the rocks that I have. And we did inherit some of these from Sandy's daddy when he passed away. He had a big old rock saw in his basement. It was a 36 incher. Okay. So let's go ahead and wash this out. We'll do a cleanup. Ah, the beauty of having a garden hose with a spray nozzle. That's a nice thing that I wish we had at the claim, but we don't. Well, there's no point in being sorry about it. Okay, we're just going to lift up the punch plate here and clean out underneath it. Let's shut her down and clean it out see what we have. Okay. 
You guys are getting to be old pros at this. You could definitely, definitely do this. There's the, the box. A lot of black sands. Now we're just going to go ahead and rinse it out. Rinse it out and pan it out. Ooh, that water is hot in that hose. That's some solar heating right there. I'd like to give a shout out to two channels that I've recently subscribed to. The first is Graveyard Prospecting. Go check him out. It's super cool. He does his prospecting while snorkeling in Washington State. And the gold that he gets is crazy. And the funnier thing is he goes down there with just a snuffer bottle. So go check him out, Graveyard Prospecting. Nice, nice guy. Super stuff. You really enjoy watching it. And I would also like to give a special shout out to Eagle Eye Prospecting. Same thing. He's he doesn't scuba dive, but he's got a lot of good material on his channel. So go check him out and subscribe to these guys. It doesn't cost you a penny. It helps them with their numbers, and plus it also benefits you, and you get to see some really new stuff just different ways of doing things so make sure you check them out i would appreciate it and they would also there was a lot of material that was stuck in the inside grooves that had dried in the vacuum hose and fortunately it dried up all that stuff and i was able to just twist the hose back and forth and free that material up. Okay, we're down to black sands. Hope you guys enjoy the videos. I hope they're interesting to you. If you'd like to see something different, let me know. Leave it in the comment. If I can incorporate that, I'll certainly give it a shot. A lot of heavy black sands there. Just see if we had any gold trapped in that vacuum hose. And we also had some in the vacuum can as well, so it's just not all out of the hose. Ouch! I'm right in the anthill. These mean little black ants. They are mean suckers. They're worse than a hornet. At least a hornet will buzz you a couple times before he stings you. These stupid black ants, they just jump on you and rawr, latch on. Now I see a piece of shine up there in the top, and I know you guys do too. I just don't know what that is yet. That might be a piece of mica. Or it may be a big piece of gold. 
I'm not sure yet. Oh, there's some gold in there. Got some gold showing up right up in here. And that looks like this looks like mica. That'd be nice if that was a big nugget. Yeah, there it goes. It floated off. Okay, so we did have a little bit of color in there. That's very good. Glad we decided to check that out, guys. Just been so muddy up there on the claim. I've not used that vacuum in a couple months. And the last time I did use it, I was sucking wet material deep on bedrock and it must have got trapped in all those ribs. It's uh, pretty cool. We got a little bit and we found what was lost, so that's awesome. I thought we had a third piece up there. But we'll go back through it again. So there it is, right there. Two little pieces, probably about, uh, oh, I'm guessing minus 20. Let's see if I can zoom this sucker. Yeah, you got a view of them right there. So very cool. That was good. That was a good little cleanup. And we're just going to do a quick. Uh, little bucket call. Yesterday we had a mail call. Here we have a bucket call. So this is why I'm behind on running everybody's pay dirt. Those are all buckets of uh, pay dirt from our claims. And I think there's like, I don't know, 16, 16 buckets or something, 17. So that's what we have to do. Here's just some of our rocks all in those cans there and then on the other side of the shed over there, over that direction, there's more buckets. So, um, But that's another day and that should be a great video. Hope you guys have a great day. Thanks for joining along. We'll catch you soon.